Hi there, this is Esther. Let's make an ornament together in this tutorial. So first let's create a straight line. You can do that by pressing the backslash on your keyboard or coming over to the line segment tool right here and just click and drag while you're before you release you want to hold on to shift key so your line is perfectly vertical and then you want to come over to effect and distort and transform and zigzag the purpose of this function is basically to create half of your ornament so you want to switch the points to smooth instead of corner which is default and then turn on the preview. Depending on how wide or narrow you want your ornament to be. So I'm just gonna do somewhere around here. Maybe in my case, this is 41 pixels, but yours might look different depending on how big is your canvas. And you can click OK. Right now, as you can see, my path doesn't really follow the direction of my shape. That's because it's still an effect. So you want to change that by coming over to object, expand appearance, and that will change, convert the effect into a shape or a path. So that's what we want. So now we want to copy that is the reflection of this guy. So I'm going to right click, transform, and reflect. You want to make sure the vertical is selected instead of horizontal. And then instead of clicking OK, you want to click Copy so you can have one extra to work with. And you want to move this aside instead of having both on top of each other. As you move, you also want to hold on to Shift so that the movement is perfectly horizontal. Give it a little gap. Let's zoom in a little bit. So over here, we have a little bit of gap. That's just my personal preference because I'm going to do a rounded corner to make my tip a little bit not too sharp. So I'm going to make another straight line by pressing the backslash and maybe around here. So the purpose of this is to make my shape enclosed so that I can use the shape builder tool to define the middle portion as one individual shape. To select Shape Builder tool, you can come over here to press this icon or do Shift M. I do a lot of keyboard shortcut that just make your life a lot easier. But I forgot to mention you want to select everybody before you click on Shape Builder tool. So Shift M. As you can see, we have our highlight over here. So that's what we want. We want this shape. Just click on it and that will give us this shape. So if you go back to selection tool and just take this aside, as you can see, we have our shape right here. So you can delete the rest. We don't need them anymore. So now we have this little shape and click on E and Hold on to shift to make it a little bit bigger. The bottom is still pretty pointy. I want to run, run the corners. So I'm going to use my direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and select both anchor points at the bottom. And you see this little round thing that helps you to round your corners. So just drag both and make it rounder. So now we have our stroke color as white, but not fill color. So I'm going to flip that by pressing Shift X. That will exchange my fill and stroke positions. So, and then you can zoom out. What else are we missing? So we have a little kind of like lock shape over here. It's pretty easy. Just press M for the rectangle tool. Don't worry too much about alignment. I'm going to make this guy really off center and I will teach you how to put them back together. If you want to sample any color, just click on I to use eyedropper tool. And for the very top, I'm going to use rectangle again by pressing M. And this time I do just want the 
stroke color, but no fill. So I'm going to flip that by pressing shift X. Let me just zoom in so you can see better. This time I want to round my corners again. So direct select both corners. You see this little circle thing again. That's a good sign. And that lets you round the corner. If this is too small, you can make this a little bit bigger. As you can see, as I resize this, the effect kind of changed a little bit because I have a flat top over here. So I don't quite really like this flat top. And you can just click on the shape and click on A. That will let you round the corners. So now we have it back. And I do want to sample this color from this example. And obviously the latest shape goes on top of the previous shape, but I do want to bring it down. So I'm going to press command shift left bracket. And now I do want everybody to align. Actually, I do want to add a circle before I do that. That's easy peasy. Just click on L for circle tool. Hold on to your shift key so that you, your circle is perfect. And I do want to sample this color. And I made three of those. Oops. I made three of those. Um, put it in the middle and I want to change their color. Just sample from the previous one and make it smaller. I do want to group them together. So you can do that by commanding command shift command G. And then now it's time to align. So I want to define my alignment by giving it an object. So basically I'm going to click on this white, the white portion of the ornament to tell all other objects to look to this as a reference. So as you can see, as I clicked on it, it highlights this area and I want to align to the center. That's all I need. So now we have our ornament. If you do want to change proportion and things, you can play with it. So that's basically how I did it. If you like this type of tutorial, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I also teach Illustrator and iPad classes on Skillshare. If you want to check out creative classes on Skillshare, I have a two month free link in the description box. So feel free to grab it and check it out. Until next time. Bye.